Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Show Pro Gamer. Today we're doing the Magic Rangas, which is today's daily challenge from Blue Star Defense 5. And I'm going to do it twice today, so normally I would only play it once and then, well, kind of give you the, the um, solution. But uh, this first one was actually my first one, so um, I wanted to share it with you, so how, kind of giving you some insight in how I solve these things uh, when I start off. So I just started with what I thought would be the best, uh, well, the best tower, which was the boomerang monkey. And then you can see that I placed it in the front because obviously I wanted to have some, uh, well, some, some range over that entrance and well, the, the exit. But I decided a little, little bit later that that was not the right position. <clears throat> obviously I want to make it four and two, I was actually going to go for two uh, boomerang monkeys and one wizard monkey because while well, both of them have camo detection, both of them have lead uh, destruction basically. Um, it's just that the AoE damage from boomerang monkeys is way better than that of the wizard monkeys, the monkey apprentice. And therefore I went for that. The thing is of course, uh, on this uh, well track, yeah, you, you kind of need that one guy in the middle that has great damage and the fact that your wizard monkey has that lightning uh, skill making him the perfect AoE damage for this uh, for this track kind of puts him as the, the major monkey. So I kind of went for the wizard monkey afterwards but as you saw already replaced the, the uh, boomerang monkey once. I'm going to have to do it again though. So yeah, I'm going for a second uh, boomerang monkey because that was my plan. It was still my plan at this point. And my plan was to make it so that that one would take out the Moab and the wizard monkey would take out the rest in, with the help of the other boomerang monkey. The thing is, the boomerang monkeys are great on some tracks, like super duper good, the best there are, uh, there, well, the best tower you can possibly get. The thing is, of course, on this track, that is not the case. Because this track is um, way too long to be, well, to have the normal balloon speed. So they upped the balloon speed, making it virtually impossible for that boomerang monkey, even at 4 and 2, to do enough damage to pop a Moab. And the thing is, that is why he's there. He is there for one reason only, to pop those Moabs. And at this point I realized, well, that is not going to happen. I mean, you saw the first Moab, it didn't pop at all because of the boomerang monkey. It popped mostly because of the wizard apprentice, or the monkey apprentice. So um, yeah, we're going to build a second monkey apprentice that also has similar range. Uh, so it can also reach all of those uh, inside, well, little corners, I guess. And yeah, so what's left then? If the Moab only pops, well, about halfway through, then my monkey, uh, my uh, boomerang monkey is placed in a completely wrong position. So I'm going to sell it, I'm going to rebuild it in the correct position, which is uh, over there, yeah, a little bit to the right, there you go. Or in the next one, so the next uh, little sticky, sticky thingy. Um, yeah, one of the two, you can basically choose where you want to place it. Uh, I think one to the bottom would be better, but this one works as well, it doesn't matter. You can reach the Moabs as you can see, um, you just can't reach the normal balloons and you would be able to reach the normal balloons if you put it one further up the track. And um, yeah, anyway, we do have two um, fully upgraded uh, wizards now, monkey apprentices, and we have a fully upgraded 4-2 uh, boomerang monkey. So we do have the phoenixes to um, well, to help us out uh, if we get in trouble. Uh, obviously, you can spam the phoenixes way more than I uh, was doing here. Um, yeah. Anyhow, this is kind of done now. I mean, there's nothing left to do except wait for wave 60, plop uh, some phoenixes in its face and uh, be done. As you can see, 34 lives remaining. Uh, so even this one, even though I kind of messed it up, I learned a lot from this and not only that, I'm going to make it because at this point there's nothing that can uh, get 34 lives or 34 balloons through it. 
because I'm just going to plop one of these phoenixes and it will clean up the entire track. The thing is, um, yeah, this final big bloom might actually cause some trouble, so I'm going to sell one of the apprentices, rebuild it at 2 and 4, redo the phoenix and then clean it up. But at this point I was like, yeah, well, 34 lives, people are probably not going to like that. So we're going to do another one and we're going to do it a little bit differently because as we saw from that early, from the first one, so my first trial basically, um, the wizard monkey is actually the one to go. The, the apprentice does way more damage than, um, than the boomerang monkey in the early parts. So let's just go with that. I mean, there's no reason not to go with that. Uh, it can pop everything that the, uh, the, the the boomerang monkey can, so might as well go for that. So second uh, apprentice, and as you can see now they're all in the right spot. And this is how I normally solve them. So the first time is just to get a feel for, uh, well, what the challenge looks like. And sometimes I actually beat it, like this time, but sometimes I actually beat it with virtually or completely no lives lost. And then I post it like that, but here I just wanted to show you, well, the kind of the process. A lot of people ask me, do you get come up with all of these solutions yourself? Yes, I do, I do. And that's why sometimes I cannot solve them and that's when I don't post one. So um, if I can't solve one, then I'm not going to post one. Obviously, I know that the solutions to all of these are can be found on the message boards or the forums of uh, Ninja Kiwi. But really, I'm not doing this to solve them or to post them. I'm doing this because I want to have fun. I like playing games because they're fun, not to win. I don't care whether I win or lose. I care about playing the game and having fun playing the game. And following a solution that someone else made just makes no sense to me. Anyway, we're going to make the same uh, well choices here that we did in the later stages of the previous one. So basically, I'm going to build two, two, and three monkeys, uh, sorry, apprentices, and uh, one, two, and three boomerang monkey. So everyone at two and three currently. Lots of AoE damage from those apprentices, and enough single target damage to pop a MOAP. So at this point, I'm not really too worried. Here is the MOAP. We're going to see when it actually pops. And as you will see, it pops a little bit later than in the previous try, but well, it's still plenty of time to um, well, to kind of feel safe. Uh, it's just that if you have multiple MOABs uh, well, together, you might be in trouble a little bit. So we're going to upgrade the Phoenix and well, on both of them uh, in a little bit because uh, well, I'm kind of saving up money here because I wasn't sure what to upgrade first. So the uh, two Phoenixes or the uh, the, the boomerang monkey. I decided to go for the phoenixes because they have more AOE damage, they have more, give me more control basically, and that's why we went for that. So yeah, the Moab might actually be a little bit of trouble, uh, so I popped one of the phoenixes because I had two anyway, so might as well use one. As long as you have uh, two available, you can always use one. So if you get in trouble, just immediately pop one, and if you wait long enough, the second one is almost going to be up, so you can plop, uh, plop it if you just have one remaining. Here, with three mobs underway, with really no chance of popping them in time, yeah, I went for it before I knew that it was actually safe to do so, so I would actually not have one for maybe like half a wave. But that's, that's fine, that's fine. So wave 55 here, uh, wave 55 is not really a problem just take some uh, some single target damage and you should be fine and I have plenty of that so as you can see the uh, the, the regenerating balloons a little bit of a problem for my uh, my apprentices but yeah they will pop eventually and that is no problem so once again four mobs in a wave so yeah we're going to use the uh, the Phoenix and yeah, for the rest, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to figure out what I'm doing. I mean, once again, four mobs in a wave. And yeah, just using the birds to get rid of them. I don't know if a phoenix is actually a bird or the... Well, it is. it, it can fly, of course. It looks like a bird in, uh, in our representation. But it's a mythological creature, man. So um, we're going to do the same trick that we did before rebuilding it, doing the extra uh, Phoenix and uh, just getting a very easy win. 
So anyway, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Choo-choo.